Sergeant Durgo, you've testified that Lieutenant Mannion told you that he shot Barney Quill after he learned that his wife had had some trouble with Quill. Now, were these the words Lieutenant Mannion used? Some trouble? No, sir. Those were my words, not his. And was it your notion to come here and use your own words? No, sir. It was not. And was the suggestion to call it some trouble made by somebody here in this courtroom? Yes, sir, it was. All right, Sergeant. Now, would you tell the court what words Lieutenant Mannion actually used to describe the trouble his wife had had? Objection, Your Honor. We have been over this before. This information would not be relevant to any issues before the court. Now, this statement concerning some trouble was brought out during the direct examination of Sergeant Durgo. Up to now, you adroitly restricted all testimony as far as Laura Mannion's concerned. All right, the cat's out of the bag. It's fair game for me to chase it. This is a sore point, Mr. Beegler, and it's getting sore. I'd like to hear from the prosecution. The burden is on the defense to prove temporary insanity at the time of the shooting. Now, if the reason for the alleged insanity is important to this case, then that is a matter for a competent witness, an expert on the subject of the human mind. What the defense is trying to do is introduce some sensational material for the purposes of obscuring the real issues. Your Honor, how can the jury accurately estimate the testimony being given here unless they first know the reason behind this whole trial? Why Lieutenant Mannion shot Barney Quill? Now, the prosecution would like to separate the motive from the act. Well, well that's, that's like trying to take the core from an apple without breaking the skin. Well, now, the core of our defense is that the defendant's temporary insanity was triggered by this so-called trouble with Quill. And I beg the court, I, I beg the court to let me cut into the apple. Our objection still stands, Your Honor. Objection overruled. 